3 p.m. 3 p.m. and 1, and it's pitch time. So basically, we have um, some startups here who would like to present their ideas, their business models, their startups here on stage, and they have just five minutes, and I'll be really hard about that, um, and cut them off after five minutes, and um, yeah, we'll see about that. The first one on stage is the managing director and co-founder of Investify. Uh, give a warm applause for Sebastian Hasenak. All right, here's the mic. Thank you very much. All right, the time starts when the presentation goes off. And here we go. So, hi, I'm very happy to be here. Hello, I'm Sebastian, so co-founder from Investify, and we are short in time, so i just uh, start. Investify is a fintech company. We founded Investify in 2016 as a joint venture between, a financial, between some financial and some tech guys to build something completely new. Um, to serve uh, clients in, in robo-advisory. Of course, we are a licensed asset manager in Luxembourg and also operating in Germany with an EU passport. Um, we found our development um, location in Aachen, quite close to the University of the RWTH, and our start was to build the first individual robo-advisor in Europe. So that uh, chart shows us something completely interesting because we see a shift, a paradigmatic shift how financial products will be bought and sold in future. So what you see here now is something like a um, service thinking in financial um, advisory. So you see the sales process, and after that, the possibility to individualize your uh, own portfolio structure by customize it. So I think we adopt with Investify cl quite close to the needs of the clients we see in future. My idea was to show you how to become an Investify client quite easily. So that is our homepage. And I'm quite uh, proud to say that today here, uh, we started our first B2C cooperation with the Hamburger Sparkasse, which is the biggest Sparkasse in Germany. So what you have to do is to give us some, or give us some answers about some questions to fulfill the risk profile. After that, we will inform you about how financial products uh, are working. We made that quite smoothly, so you can um, just look at some videos if you have some gaps in how equity funds are working, and uh, we can fulfill your, your knowledge about all that. After that, and that is quite unique and cool, you can select themes you believe in, you think uh, the future looks like, something like ethical investment, like the fastest 25 growing companies, or like disruptive world. Um, that's quite clear. Our job is even to build the portfolio and do all the paperwork behind that. So we will um, develop after we know how you want to be invested and how much risk you want to take, how your contracts should look like, and we do that just by one click. So you say, yes, I want to become an Investify client, and we will open up the account at the barter bank in your name and fulfill the wealth management contract for you. And after that, um, it completely starts. I think that is quite cool. I just mentioned we are um, starting with the Hamburger Sparkasse, a hybrid cooperation between a, a fi a, between a branch solution and even a robo-advisor solution. So what have we done? You know, the, um, the ID Now application where you can do the KYC and the legitimation um, to, full, to open up the account. You can do that also now in the Sparkasse branch with the consultant on the desk. Um, yeah. So what is behind Investify? Um, to give you just a clue, you see now here a, a location at an Investify portfolio. So we offer something like a core satellite approach. The core is a fully ETF managed portfolio and we grab in the data to manage the portfolio by Aladdin. Aladdin is a risk machine of BlackRock. After that, the client can choose, us, as you saw, the themes to individualize your allocation. And you can even, and that is the chart before, um, showing you can uh, shift, so you can change the allocation by the themes. You can say, okay, aging society, that's interesting for me. Or you can say, no, now I want to go to ethical investment or even other themes. So it's completely individual and you can change that on a daily basis. Behind, and that is the clue of our solution on the technological perspective, is that every portfolio at Investify looks different. So there's no standard solution for our clients. Every portfolio at Investify has a completely own allocation. We manage the risk you gave us and also the wish how you want to peak the satellites like the themes. 
What you see here now is uh, our performance report. And of course, so we are asset manager and performance matters. Uh, quite interesting and quite cool to show you. That are some themes we offered our clients since year to date. So Gründe geführt und nimm founder driven companies and all that quite interesting performance. And of course, as asset manager, we have to report how that all looks um, towards your benchmark. Yeah. That is the founder team, and that is even the skill set I mentioned. So we've got the financial side and the well-experienced uh, tech guys on our side to develop that new solution. So I'm completely in time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sebastian. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Um, the next one on stage is the Head of International Business Development and Partnerships from Conto Vista AG, Gerrit Zinnemann. Applause. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, as said, uh, we are a Swiss fintech. Um, we're about uh, data-driven banking. And I think, if the slides change, uh, I think there's, the meanwhile, little doubt uh, that uh, data is the new gold. Uh, and we think that, especially in banking, there's like three factors that are actually driving uh, in this context. Uh, one is that banks have traditionally been very good in storing data, uh, but they rarely use them besides maybe for credit risk. On the other side, PSD2 is forcing banks to give access to their data, and on top, uh, the consumers are actually demanding for more and more digital experiences. Uh, there's a lot of fintech companies coming up, bringing some unrest in the banking industry, uh, and the even more dangerous companies that are uh, uh, waiting to enter or already entering are the GAFAs, uh, the big data-driven companies that have really like global user base. So uh, it's time now for readying banks for data-driven banking. Uh, we divide that especially in three factors. One is about the digital channel to reach the, the user. Uh, one is about the data. Uh, and the other one is about analytics. Uh, we match that actually with three services and products. Uh, on the one side for uh, private or business customers, a, a finance manager. Uh, we have also a data enrichment service uh, and the uh, ad analytics platform to actually process the data that the customers provide you with. So for private customers, uh, it can be anything like from uh, getting like some overview of your costs, see what's your uh, uh, relevance uh, or um, rest uh, left to spend, your spending, uh, to uh, achieving some, uh, some saving goals or uh, being a bit more engaged by having, for example, some badges gamifying the whole experience. Uh, but sometimes even like the most powerful features are like semantic search across all cards and accounts, uh, adding some personal tags. That's uh, something that uh, users always appreciate. Or even like uh, putting a bit more, uh, uh, I would say, a picture to your, to your uh, expenses and see actually where they happen to understand them better. So uh, as a bank, you can choose like however colorful you want to get. Uh, and for business customers, we mirrored that same, uh, but of course, like presenting it more as a kind of a liquidity planning tool that you have in your online banking. The data enrichment behind, so to enable all this uh, uh, colorful experience for your customers, uh, we take actually individual transactions, uh, for example, credit card transaction from a boutique. Uh, we clean them on the one side so that merchant is always like clearly recognizable. On the other side, we add uh, certain categories, like, uh, uh, like these expense categories, uh, but also additional data, like a geolocation to put it on a map, or to have then also, for example, aggregate level, some heat maps, or see like, whether, uh, whether certain industries are trending. And then we play it back to the bank. Of course, like, uh, yeah, just providing nice uh, UI to the end customer is, is not uh, so satisfying. You also want to earn some money with it. Uh, so we offer our bank partners and also some uh, machine learning platform. Uh, so the data sources can be uh, like from core banking, can be from uh, card issuers, but can be also any other data source that the bank wants to connect. And we have a central library uh, of machine learning models that are then actually calibrated with the data uh, of the bank. That can be something like churn prediction or certain product affinities, third bank wealth, you name it. Uh, what we have also seen is like in, in uh, yeah, testing these models with customers is that uh, the data as you have them today in the bank systems are often not so much helpful, uh, but you first need to enrich them like with these categories because then they become more depth and the models become much more uh, exact. 
Then you feed back uh, the whole model outcome actually also into the online or mobile banking experience, and you have contextual uh, offers that you can make to the customer. Like, for example, offering a gold credit card if you see that someone is buying frequently some electronics uh, goods. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, Swiss company, as I said, we have done it already like, uh, and implemented with 20 customers. Um, yeah, we are, they are actually uh, now in Germany, everything white label, and we help you to get a bit more excitement back into your customer relationship. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perfectly in time. Swiss precision. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that. <laughs> All right, next one on the stage, co-founder, Finmusis, Jean-Claude Kühne. Please welcome him on stage with a warm welcome. With a warm applause. You have a five minute start, we're in the presentation. Okay, hi everybody. I'm here with Sebastian, and we present you Finmusis, the first virtual rate in interest rate optimizer for mortgage loans. Finmesis is simple, online, unique. Who is Finmesis? Finmesis, that's me, Jean-Claude Kühne, Master of Business Administration, responsible for development and sales. My father, Friedrich Jürgen Kühne, former system, an uh, former system analyst at SAP AG, responsible for IT security, and Albert Sander, diploma engineer, responsible for usability. We have an existing IT partnership with TIT. TIT is responsible for web development and programming. What is Finmesis? Finmesis is like in DNA, unique because of its algorithm, but can be also easily integrated into existing software architectures like a DNA string. Now, Sebastian, Sebastian will demonstrate to us the functionality of Finmesis based on a predefined case in a live application. You see here on the first page, you need the general data for your mortgage, including the subsidies, KfW and Landesfördermittel. So we just go on. Here we need further information for the subsidy KfW and for the subsidy Landesfördermittel. On the next page, we have some detailed information about the property, about the mortgage loan, and the interest rate here, 18 years. So now we have here the personal data of the first borrower. In this case, it's me. And Sebastian will just take me 10 years older. And as you can see, uh, you, uh, you got the information that you have to put in your pension and not your income. But please make me not that old again so that we can go on. So good. We go on with the income situation and the expenses, and the desired rate with 1,000 euros, the contact possibility, and so we can just go on a little bit faster. And now we have something I really love. As you can see, we got the result in real time. And here you have the mortgage loans with the subsidy Wohneigentumsprogramm, KfW Darlehen, Voltilger Darlehen and Annuitäten Darlehen. We got here some information for the subsidy Landesförderung. And because of the 20 years of the Voltilger Darlehen, we got a special termination right of 489 BGB. We have also some information about the details of Preisangabenverordnung. The desired rate is fully completed in the financial offer. And here you got the detailed information about each mortgage loan. So thank you very much, Sebastian. We can go on with the presentation. So for what can Filmesis be used for? As a mortgage loan calculator for bank clients and or bank customers, or as a comparison platform for mortgage loans. What is the business model of Finmesis? We want to have 300 banks as customers for our mortgage loan calculator, and we want to earn 30 million euro cross commission via our comparison platform. 
What are the costs of Finmesis? We need for the first year for software development, including marketing and sales, 1.4 million euros. We reach break-even point in the fourth year, while cumulative costs less blend revenue of 3.2 million euros. I look forward to further questions from you, and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Okay, before the last uh, presenter will enter the stage, you have to encourage those guys to get here up on stage. They're, they have sweaty hands, they're nervous, they have to pitch before you. So the next one, I like to have a really loud applause for him, please. Uh, Managing Director, FinAPI GmbH, Dr. Florian Hagen. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And the presenter. In a second. Where's the presenter? Go on, Jean-Claude, do you have the presenter? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no worries. Like I said, they're nervous. <laughs> Thank you. But you do a good job. Thank you. So, let's get you started. Thank you very much. My name is Florian. Um, I'm founder of FinAPI. We are an API provider providing access to intelligence enhanced banking data. What does this actually mean? Our core technology is an access to account technology. We can connect to all relevant German and Austrian and some Italian banks, gathering the transaction data from these banks and build our technology on top of this. We're not only uh, gathering um, checking accounts, we're also gathering saving accounts, loan accounts, or portfolio accounts, and various other data sources like the Amazon uh, spending history or eBay data, and we all put this in our data warehouse, we call it, and then our core business actually starts. What do we do? We build on top of this banking data intelligence by categorizing all the transaction data into various categories. We use machine learning technology to identify, for example, um, salary payments or insurance payments and provide all these data via our simple API. This um, data can be used for various use cases like PFM solutions, I will show you in a second. But what we uh, built on top of just the categorization, our latest um, uh, thing is that we identify regular payments, we identify contracts basically on, um, on the transaction data and also provide this information via the API um, for you to build on top of this API uh, the use cases and the front ends. So what can, you, um, what can you actually build on top of our technology? We provide a PFM solution, for example, and this PFM solution has not only one bank account, but it has access to all the bank accounts of a user uh, that the user has. What is the, the, the rationale behind this? From a bank's perspective, if you as a bank provide access to the bank accounts the customer has with other banks, the bank customer actually has all the information uh, of his financial data in your online banking and doesn't have to go to the other online bankings anymore and thus doesn't see uh, the marketing advertisements from the other bank anymore. On the other side, this can also be a fintech offering this technology, because in the near future with PSD2, it is all a matter of question who has access to the account data of the user, because for most uh, customers today, an online banking, uh, a bank is just a web front end and nothing more, and the web front end can be anywhere. So we provide the technology for this. But what's another very common use case that can be built with our technology is the, the digital loan application. If you uh, look at the uh, loan application today, you have to enter very many data sources in the, in the online form, like your salary, maybe the amount of children you have, if you have a, a own property, etc. And we can collect all this data by simply um, having access to a bank account and then um, transfer this data to the bank. Um, we just uh, looked at these um, various application forms from 
online um, loan applications and um, by gaining access to the account data and uh, our categorization engine, we reduce the entry point from something lo like 80 data you need to enter uh, to less than 10. So there's a huge potential for automation of the loan application. Well, this is just a list of our customers. We're not the most well-known company in this field, but we have very strong customers and partnering with these customers. And I'm looking forward to have some more contacts with you guys and helping you with the ideas to implement on top of our banking data. Thank you. <laughs>